we have to put this building on piles. There'll be some point where we will see basically a building standing on stilts. Strengthening and redevelopment of the Robert McDougall Gallery is a really key part of the project. The building can be brought up to 100% of current code with the use of base isolation. To get base isolation under an existing building is, is a big challenge. What we have to do is to put this building up on piles. The process that's been happening in parallel with all of the work outside here is to introduce more than 300 micro piles uh, under the footprint of the gallery. The piles themselves uh, are set at a depth where they can carry the load into good ground. The excavation can proceed after that. There'll be some point where we will see basically a building standing on stilts if you're standing out there looking in. Yep. And then at that stage the new structure will come up below that. So there's been all this work happening in the basement space, really outside of anyone's vision from, from outside of the, the building. The space in the headroom in there is particularly constrained, so it's been a very challenging construction operation to insert all of these piles that will then be there while they complete the excavation under the building. So these are the micro piles. The piles themselves are 11 metres long. Uh, we only see the top segment that's been brought out of the ground here. And inside these, they're grouted, and there's a high strength reinforcing bar uh, that's, that's pushed right the way down into the bottom of them. We have three kilometres of micropiles installed under the building. So once the jacks are in place and they're carrying the load, the building will be entirely supported by these micropiles. The introduction of base isolation under heritage buildings is something that New Zealand has pioneered. It's a slow process, uh, it's very detailed, it's very complex, but it's, it's a process that's well understood and in Christchurch this is really a unique opportunity.